Hello everyone. In this lesson we're going to look at why you'd want to learn assembly language. What makes assembly language still relevant in today's world? So let's go ahead and jump in and look at some of the details. Hello everyone. Assembly language is probably not at the top of most people's list in terms of hiring. It's not a particularly high demand programming language right now, but I think there's some very interesting use cases which still makes assembly language very relevant and it's a useful skill to know. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the details and look at some of the use cases of why assembly language is still relevant in today's market. So if you learn assembly language, you'll be learning the low level operation of a computer. Assembly language requires the detailed knowledge of how a central processing unit or CPU functions within a computer. The syntax and commands are dependent on the specific CPU itself, meaning the instructions itself are custom to that particular central processing unit. And because of this, assembly code is not portable, it's only geared for that particular CPU. However, I maintain that learning the low-level operation of a computer is a very good thing and will make you a better programmer because of this. You'll understand fundamentally how a computer operates and that can only help you in certain situations. And we'll look at some more situations in the next few slides. Another scenario where you absolutely need to understand assembly language is for compiler designers. So if you're working on a C compiler or a C++ compiler that, that compiles a high level language into assembly language, you absolutely need to understand how assembly language works. So there's also a kind of a tangential use case that we'll look at on the next slide. And you, this is probably a more common scenario that you may need to debug programs in C or C++ and, and look at the very low level details. If you have a piece of code that's not performing properly or you have a really uh, high performance need out of a piece of code, you may need to look at the assembly code that's being generated by the C compiler or C++ compiler. And that of course will require a detailed knowledge of assembly language or at least a high level understanding of how it works so you can see exactly what the compiler is producing. Let's go ahead and look at a couple other scenarios. Another example of a use of assembly language is for high performance code. Some examples of this are operating system kernels like the Linux operating system is written in assembly language where you really need to have very tight and fast code to coordinate all the different processes running within an operating system. Another example might be a control system such as a flight control system with the drone pictured here. Very uh, need for real time control and assembly language may be necessary to get you that real-time feedback uh, to make the flight control system stable. And another example is ultra high performance code, things like networking systems where you're processing uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of packets in a very short amount of time. So these are some examples of still some relevant use for assembly language for high performance code. Let's look at one other example. Another example of a use of assembly language is for embedded systems and Internet of Things, or IoT. There are so many embedded systems in use today, and there's more to come. So with the advent of cloud computing and interfaces and cheap interfaces to all kinds of devices, there are all kinds of devices now that have some kind of embedded processing, from refrigerators to cars to all kinds of appliances. You name it, there's all kinds of smart devices and huge uh, amounts of IoT devices and industrial automation and some of these devices may require some custom assembly code. They may not be have enough processing power to run a complete operating system. They may have the need for a very small processor and, and thus having that particular custom assembly language. So those are some additional examples of where assembly coding and assembly language is not only useful but necessary. In summary, we've looked at a couple of scenarios of why assembly language is still relevant and useful in today's world. For me, the most important thing is, is just the educational aspect. If you're going to spend your whole career programming computers, you might as well understand how they work at the very lowest level. That's really it for this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be putting the rest of the videos for this assembly language course on this YouTube channel, and I'm in the midst of producing them right now. So over the next few weeks, you'll be seeing more videos, and the complete collection should be out there soon. That's it. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.